Oh my god, off the bat, Jason Jones Bloated. down the line. He has some of the more advanced mechanics in this entire draft class. Perfect game All-American, Jason Jones. Uh, I'm gonna start where I always like to start with you. What's yes, the latest with, with your parents? Tell me what they're up to. <laughs> Tim and Kim, right? Yes, sir. Tell Tim me and what's Kim. going on with Tim and Kim. Oh, man, they're just uh, helping me uh, achieve my dreams. Uh, day in, day out, getting me whatever I want, uh, making sure my grades are right, keeping me straight in the classroom, and uh, pushing me to where I can uh, ultimately reach my goals. And uh, they've been doing that ever since I was a little kid. So. Uh, they're actually more harder on me now than they ever have been. So, I mean, I love them for that. I'm not gonna let you just throw out the words goals and dreams <laughs> without telling me what your right. goals and dreams are. It's one thing to say what you just said, right. but be specific. What are your goals and dreams? I would say my biggest dream ever since I was three years old is I wanna be a first ballot Hall of Famer. I was raised I was by one of those, you know <laughs> right, that, right? I was right. raised by a Hall of Famer. Right. So what do you think it takes to get there? Man, loving the game is the number one piece. Preparation. Preparation is key, I would say, is that when you're prepared, you're confident. And confidence also is another one that uh, those guys had stepping on and off the field. And like I said, play the game like it was whenever you were a kid. Right. Just love the game every single day like you're playing Little League ball. I feel like uh, like Ken Griffey, I've always noticed him, is he he loved the game, the kid, man. He he absolutely loved the game. And all I noticed that with all the other guys, too, is that they just played out there to have fun, man. Just have fun. So as Jason the boy becomes Jason the man, yes, sir. what part of your game has changed the most and improved the most? I would say my mental game. I would say that I'm starting to pay more attention into that, more attention to detail because I never realized how important it was. It's a grind, man. This summer was a long summer. I had a lot of games, traveling everywhere, a few weeks home, maybe a week or two home. So it's like having that mental strength is to where your body is tired and you can't go anymore, but if you're mentally strong, you can get that extra edge and still be able to play at your full potential. What's this year going to be like for you? A lot of phone calls, right. a lot of visits, a lot of pressure. How are right. you gonna handle all that? I mean, I feel like uh, my dad, uh, he's put a lot of pressure on me ever since I was a little kid. Like, uh, always the helped me kind, to- The good kind, right? A great kind. I, it always helped me to a higher standard than, uh, always had high expectations for me, so I feel like there won't be any much of a difference. I'm just gonna go out there and play the game like I'm a kid again. Just going out there, having fun, day in, day out. Get, get to play with all these great people, great guys. Get to meet guys like my boy Darren. Don't put me on that list. <laughs> I'm too old, man. Great too guys. old and not influential. That's, that's, that's my game. But, but the people, that's interesting right, to talk about right. the people. The diversity of the people that you right. meet, whether it be younger, older teammates, whether right. it be young, talented players from the suburbs, African-American players. Do you enjoy the diversity of this I game? Feel like, I feel like that's the best thing about this game is to meet new people from different backgrounds and build up relationships with them to where they'll, they won't, they'll last you a lifetime. This, it's, it's unique. For you to come across <laughs> like this, that confident, that polished, that 4.0 GPA. Yes, sir. You mentioning your prayer time and the values to manage in your life. Yes, sir. You've got to understand that you are unique, you are uncommon. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So expound upon that. Uh, I, like I said, I don't want to let the let myself get too high or too low. Like, know that I'm just like everybody else. I'm just out here just living life. And uh, fortunately enough, I've been blessed enough to play the game that I love. So hopefully I can play that game for a long time. Ultimately, man, like I said, everybody is the same same exact person. Nobody's higher than anybody else. We're all in this life. Again, Tim and Kim, man. Let's end it right there. <laughs> right. Kudos to them. Yes, sir. Thank you, pal. Thank you so much.